Hey guys, it's Megan, and in today's video, I'll be showing you a few easy DIYs that you can do to decorate your Crocs. This time I made some of these Croc chains that were popular last year. I came up with a couple different methods for those, and I also did a few more DIY divots too. Which, if you're looking for more ways to make divots, I made a whole video about that like two years ago that you guys really seem to like, so hopefully you like this one as well. And I also made these seashell ones in last week's video, I thought these were cute. But anyways, with all that being said, let's just get into it. So these are the Crocs that I have, they're the black platform ones and I have these bows in them. I did that for another video, which I will link in the eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out real quick. To make those little chains that go across the front, there are a couple of options for this. I've seen a couple of people, they'll glue a piece on here that has a loop attached to it, and then they'll use lobster clasps on the end of their chains. But I wanted these to be completely removable, so here's what I came up with. When you're making these chains, you're gonna wanna make sure that they sit underneath the strap so that you can still move the strap back and forth. Honestly, I'm not sure how different the different sizes of Crocs are. Since I'm just making these for myself, I'm just going to measure on the Crocs that I have. And since we have the little part that hooks around, I'm starting the measurement right here. And it looks like about eight inches is gonna be my best bet. Because then I'll probably have like a little bit of extra room, but not too much extra. So let's go ahead and make some Croc chains. For my first one, I think I'm just gonna use some of this silver chain. Honestly, I don't really think you even need to measure for this. I have my chain and I'm gonna take one of these ball chains at the end of that chain, slide the ball chain through, slide it around the strap of the Crocs and go ahead and just close that up. I think I want this ball chain piece to be a little bit tighter. So what I'm going to try, I'm just gonna try to cut this take that piece out. I think that's actually gonna work a lot better. So if you decide to use the ball chains, you can definitely cut them if you want. And then I'm just gonna wrap my chain around. I think eight inches is actually a pretty good length. So then you have enough room. The kind of chain that I have, it can just be pulled apart with pliers. So I'm just gonna do that, close that back up. To finish it, just like before, I'm going to take my ball chain and count back six, and I'm gonna use my wire cutters to cut off the excess chain. I just slipped this through the end of the chain, and now all that's left to do is wrap this ball chain around the other side. I think it's easier to just clasp it first, and then you can worry about putting it around the strap. Now all you have to do is repeat this for the other shoe. And here's how they turned out. I think this could look really cute if you hung some charms on there. I thought about it, but I was like, nah, I kind of want a plain one, but maybe I'll make one with charms later. Next, I wanted to make some of those beaded chains that were popular on TikTok last year. To attach these ones, I ended up using some of these little cell phone straps. I had these left over from some sort of project that I did at some point. Now that I think about it, these might've been left over from when I used to do DIY squishies. Besides the cell phone straps, you're also gonna need some 26 gauge wire, some jewelry pliers and wire cutters, and any beads that you want. For this, I just used some six millimeter white pearl beads. First, you're gonna wanna take that 26 gauge wire and go ahead and use your round nose pliers to create a loop at the end. To do this, I just bend the wire back, wrap it around, and twist that extra wire around the base a couple times to make sure that the loop doesn't come undone. Cut off any excess and flatten it out. Once you have that loop at the end of your wire, take one of the cell phone straps and thread it through the wire loop like this. After that's pulled through there, just bring the lobster clasp end through the loop like so. If you're not sure exactly how long the bead part needs to be, what you can do is just wrap the cell phone strap around just like that. And I actually like to hook the lobster clasp into that little loop that's on the wire. I like to bring that strap on the Crocs to the front so that I know I won't be covering it. Then I just take my piece of wire and cut it a little bit longer than I think that I'll need it. Because we're gonna need to add another one of those loops at the end and it's always better to just have a little bit extra than what you think you'll need. Like I said, I wear a woman's size nine, so I made my beaded section about eight inches, but definitely measure on your own Crocs. I ended up needing 34 of these six millimeter pearl beads. Well, I kind of figured out where I wanted to stop was I just kind of measured this with my fingers and over to the other side to kind of make sure that where I ended was about the same distance away from where I started, if that makes sense. And of course, if you want this to sit a little bit lower, you can just add more beads. Once all my beads are on there, I just push them so that they're nice and tight, bend the wire like so, and use my round nose pliers to make another loop at the end. Again, just wrapping the wire around the base of the loop like so, cutting off the excess and flattening it out. Then take another one of those cell phone straps and thread it through just like we did before. Bring the end through the loop, loop it around the clasp, and loop this part around the strap of your Crocs. I actually think that I like the cell phone straps a little bit better than the ball chains. I think I'm gonna use these for the rest of them. But here's how those ones turned out. Honestly, I don't really have a whole lot to say about these, but they're cute, I like them. 
If you want to use beads that are a whole bunch of different sizes like these ones, I would definitely recommend laying the beads out first like this. I had some of these gemstone beads left over from another project, so I decided to use them to make this colorful chain. I made this the exact same way that I did before, making the base out of 26 gauge wire and attaching it to my crocs with the cell phone straps. You could definitely use this wire method with the ball chains that I showed earlier too. Or you could add a lobster clasp to a small piece of chain and slip that through the loop. I think that would work as well. When you're using the mismatched beads like this, what I like to do when I make this second one is to take the first one off and make the second one the exact same way that we did before, but you don't really have to attach it to the crocs, you can just measure it next to the first one to make sure that they're the same length. Once they are, just make another loop at the end, add your cell phone strap, and that's it! These are definitely a little bit different from what I normally go for, but I think it's kind of fun that you can get so many different vibes out of one pair of shoes. For my last chain, I wanted to use this old rainbow loom set that I had. I said this in another video, I was never really that good at rainbow looms, but I could make the chains, which is all you need to know for this one. Just twist one of the bands into a figure eight, add that to your loom, add two more bands directly above that, then bring the bottom band up over the top two bands like this. Add another rubber band, bring the bottom band over the top two, and keep repeating this process until you have a chain that's long enough to go across the front of your crocs. If you don't have this particular set, you can definitely just use a normal rainbow loom, you could do the thing with the two pencils, or you could literally just use your fingers. All you really need is the rubber bands. To finish it, I used two more of those ball chains, cut them a little bit shorter to fit like we did before, and slipped one through either end of the rainbow loom chain, making sure to put it through both rubber bands at the end when I took it off my loom. I made a second one, stuck them on my crocs, and that was it! Something that's kind of cool about these rainbow looms is they actually glow in the dark. I'm sort of tempted to like hang some star beads from these or something, or maybe I could make like a galaxy themed gibbet set. Something that is seriously perfect for making croc charms are these mini perler beads. I got this set from Amazon. It came with everything that you need except for the iron. There are 24 colors in here. It came with some keychains, two sets of tweezers, personally I like using the metal ones, and some square and round pegboards. It came with a couple patterns and instructions too. The patterns that it came with were a little bit bigger than I wanted my gibbets to be, so I found some patterns on Pinterest instead. I wanted to make a couple strawberry gibbets. I've been seeing so many cute strawberry themed things lately, I don't really know why, but like, I'm here for it, it's so cute. I also made a couple flowers with the normal size perler beads, which pro tip, if you're gonna do the flowers, I would definitely recommend using either the hexagon or the star pegboard because you can fit a whole lot more on there. If you use the circle one, you can only do one at a time and that was just not super efficient. I really liked how these ones turned out as well, it's just with the bigger ones you're a little bit more limited with your designs. To actually turn these into gibbets, I just added a little UV resin to the back, making sure that the resin hit all of the beads, stuck on one of my plastic gibbets pieces, then cured them under my UV lamp. I was a little worried that the resin might like leak through to the front since there are holes in the beads, but surprisingly I did not have that issue at all, and they turned out great. I think these are so cute, these mini perler beads are like the perfect summer craft. Comment down below, what shape should I do next? I really like how these flower ones turned out too. I don't know about the colors, maybe next time I'd do something different, although I will say, like if I ever get a husband, hopefully he does not have a thing for feet because he's gonna be very disappointed. Um, anyways, that was everything for this video. Make sure to let me know which project was your favorite. I think my favorite might have to be the mini pearl or bead gibbets. I think that those are so cute, but the mini ones did take a while, not gonna lie. I'm telling you, th that's like the perfect summer activity. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye!